Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you guys are new here. Today's video I'm going to be reviewing and demoing some products from the brand Undone Beauty. This video is not sponsored in any way and I bought everything with my own money. The reason why I wanted to try out Undone Beauty is because they create products that are supposed to be multitasking and minimalistic and clean. So if you're into that like no makeup makeup look, very minimalistic, then some of their products are definitely going to be for you and that is definitely up my alley. So I did pick up a few products from my local Target. I do want to mention that not all Targets carry Undone Beauty and at the specific Target the brand was also on clearance so at least 90% of their products were on clearance so I got everything for more than 80% off but I'm assuming that that means Target is going to be discontinuing carrying Undone Beauty so if you want to try out this brand at all I would recommend Target's website, Ulta Online, and of course Undone Beauty's website. So of course I will be reviewing a bunch of their products in this video, but primarily I wanted to compare their foundations. They have the Unfoundation Glow Tint and then they also have a Matte Tint. I do have dry and dehydrated skin, so I wanted to see how these two compared on my skin so if you want to see how these sit on my dry and dehydrated skin definitely keep watching along with some demos and reviews of their other products so to get started let's just go ahead and get right into the swatches of their on foundations for swatches i'm going to swatch the glow tints first like i stated i have the shades 425 cream light and 430 buttercream medium light Next to these swatches, I'm gonna do the matte tense again, shades 425 cream light and 430 buttercream medium light. These are the final swatches. These lighter shades are 425 and these darker shades are 430. These are the glow tints and these are the matte versions. So I'm gonna let them dry down a little bit and then we'll do some fresh swatches right above to see if this tint darkens as it dries down. All right, you can see these fresh swatches. I would say this darker shade did darken just the slightest, not even half a shade, but I can definitely tell the slightest difference right as I swatched it. I wouldn't be too worried about this tint darkening as it dries down. As you guys can see, it still looks pretty similar to the shades that have dried down. For application, I'm going to do the glow tint on my left side and I'm going to use the matte version on my right side. And I'm going to go ahead and mix the colors first to get my perfect shade. On the website, it says you can apply it with your fingers, a brush, or a sponge. I'm going to try my finger first and then we'll try to go in with a damp sponge. It feels really smooth going on and it feels really lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy or like thick at all, which I really like, especially for a skin tint. So I did try these two separate formulas yesterday and I did notice that this glow tint is very, very subtle. I would say it dries down to almost like a very natural skin-like finish. I don't really view it as being dewy, maybe just because the dewy foundations that I have are like really dewy. So this is what one layer looks like. I will try to layer up a little bit more just to cover more of my freckles in this area. It does say it's supposed to be buildable, so we'll kind of test that out. This is with two layers. Let's go ahead and try this matte side. With the matte formula, it does feel very similar. I don't notice like a huge difference when it comes to like the consistency of them. So this is one layer of the matte formula. I'm gonna go in with a second layer to see how this builds. All right, this is what it looks like the dewy side on my left side and the matte side on my right side. I will zoom you guys in so you can really see the difference, but 
So far, it feels really lightweight on my face. I feel hydrated. My skin doesn't feel tight either for the matte or the dewy side. So that's a really good first impression or second impression since this is my second time. But the coverage is really nice. I'd say it's like a light, light medium coverage. You can definitely build it up just a teeniest bit. This is only obviously two layers that I've done. Um, but I really like both formulas. Usually I don't tend to go for anything matte, but this is a really nice formula where my skin doesn't feel like super dehydrated. I'm looking a little bit pale, so I'm gonna go in with their bronzers. I have two shades. These are their water bronzers and these are really popular. Their claim says that these are supposed to melt into your skin, blend it perfectly with a natural looking tan. And it comes in four shades and it retails for $10. I have the shade 210 Baked, which is supposed to be a cool shade, best for those with blue, pink, or red undertones. And I also have the shade 230 Amber, which is a warm shade, best for those with neutral or yellow undertones. The amber is definitely too red, so I would definitely use it as a blush or a lip tint. So I'm gonna try 210 Baked. And it is a very cooling sensation when you brush it onto your skin. And I would say you should blend this out very quickly just because it is water. So I feel like it tends to kind of stain quicker. So I'm gonna swipe it really quickly and then blend it out with a brush. And that's just one swipe. So let's quickly start blending it. It did blend out really nicely. I don't see any streaking, which is really nice. Um, I think I'm gonna do another swipe just to build up the color a little bit more. And you can see right as I swipe, it doesn't look too dark, but like within 0.2 seconds, the color really starts to develop. It's a really nice warm tone bronzer. I'm gonna do a little bit on my forehead. All right, that's looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna try just dabbing it straight into the product. Ooh. Oh gosh, that went on a little bit too dark. I think I should have dabbed it on my the back of my wrist or something first. All right, that's what it looks like. I think I prefer just swiping and then blending it out. I think if you wanna dab it directly, you might just wanna pat it on the back of your palm first to get some of that product out. So I'm gonna do that and add a little bit more. That actually looks really nice. I think if you really wanna go for that dewy, like no makeup makeup and your base is very dewy, I think this would blend in really easily. I don't know how well this will work on top of like a very matte base already. I totally forgot about their concealer palettes. I was the most excited about these. These are their Conceal to Reveal 1 and 3 palettes. These are really cool because you can see that there's three separate sections. So this top section is a more of a sheer coverage. This middle section is medium coverage. And then the bottom section is opaque. So I think that's really cool. I haven't seen this anywhere else. So this is really awesome if you're going for more like a everyday minimal makeup look you can go for more of their sheer coverage and then if you're going for all out you can do more of the opaque so for the concealers they carry a total of 16 shades on their website and it retails for 12 dollars i have the shades 430 buttercream medium light and that is described as a warm ivory for neutral skin with yellow undertones and i also picked up the shade 435 soft beige medium and that is described as a medium beige for neutral skin with yellow undertones so you can see side by side 430 and 435 are very close, but 435 is just a teeniest bit darker. So I tend to use 435 on my face and then I use 430 under my eyes just to brighten it up just a little bit. So the concealer that I usually like to tend to go for is the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I really like the consistency of this. It's very lightweight and it's uh, kind of like once you touch it, it just kind of melts into your skin. And that's very close to how these feel. Once you touch it, it just kind of melts and it's very emollient, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna try, let's do the medium coverage first under my eyes. Just going to dab it a little bit on the back of my palm, just to really warm it up. And then we'll dab it underneath my eyes. And one thing I did notice about this when I used it for the first time yesterday is 
a little bit goes a long way. It really blends out really easily. So I found that when I was only doing my under eyes, I could really blend it above my eyes as well. And that just provided beautiful brightening coverage. I really, really love this concealer. Um, let me just blend a little bit up here. So that's what the medium coverage one looks like. I'm gonna dab a little bit of the opaque and just do a little bit right in this area where it's dark. I really, really like this. I think it feels so lightweight and hydrating. My under eyes don't feel like dry or cakey. So you can see the difference between this concealer and no concealer on this side. It's super brightening and it covered up a little bit of my darkness. Now I'm gonna take the shade 435 and let's just do the medium coverage again. And I'm gonna go over any spots that I have. Maybe do them around my nose because I always have a lot of redness. And that just helped to cover my redness around my nose really nicely. I'm really enjoying this concealer. So now I'm going to do the same to my other eye. So yesterday when I tried this concealer, I did apply it on my eyelid and it creased really easily because I do have like one small fold on my eyelid. I feel like since this is so emollient, it's going to crease since it doesn't really dry down. So I would not use this on my lid to cover like redness and veins, but we'll let this kind of dry down and then I'll zoom you guys in to see if it creases under my under eyes. Next, let's go into blush and I have their lip to cheek 3-in-1 cream palettes. This retails for $14 and they have a total of 8 shades on their website. I do have 2 shades. The first shade here is 325 Flare and that is described as a soft coral with cool undertones. And then I also have the shade Rosewood which is a peachy red with warm undertones. These again have that concept of the 3 separate colors. Uh, coverages so you have the sheer medium and opaque on their website it says that the sheer formula is for lips and a dewy touch the medium formula is for lips and cheeks and then the opaque formula is for lips liner and long lasting blush but for today i'm gonna try the rose wood i'm gonna take a brush like this and dab it up on this section obviously the section is pretty small so i'm gonna get some of the medium coverage and then before i go on my face i'm just going to dab it on the back of my hand as you guys can see, so I'm gonna dab it out a little bit and then hit right above my cheeks like so. Now I'm gonna take another brush or maybe my sponge and just kind of blend that out. It's so blendable, just like the concealer, that I'm not too worried. So as you guys can see, the sponge took a lot of that color away, which I really like. And then I'm just going to try some on this side. And I know a lot of people have been doing blush on their nose, so I'll just try a little bit. Oh no. <laughs> it just provided a really nice flush of color. I really love this formula. It feels very similar to the concealer formula where it's just like super emollient. Right as you touch it, it just kind of melts into your hand and then it blends out really beautifully. So another product that I really recommend from Undone. Next, let's move into brows. I picked up their Flaw Lush Brow Pencil. This is a two-in-one fill and fluff micro pen and spoolie. On one end is a spoolie that's supposed to have a long wear gel that creates all day full natural groomed brows that holds its shape. On the other end is a precision felt tip pen that creates defined shape and hold. This retails for $12 and they have a total of six shades on their website. I have the shade dark brown. This shade dark brown is quite dark. This felt tip, when it goes on almost black. So it got really messy yesterday when I tried it. So I'm going to try to use a very light hand. It feels very wet. Like I can see the product on my eyebrows kind of like pooling up. So I do have a little scar here. So maybe that might be a good chance for me to try this felt tip. So maybe I can make some fake hair strokes right here. Oh God. Ugh. 
That's not awful, but that's not great. But it's looking better today because yesterday I was using a very heavy hand. So whenever it touched my skin, it left like little marks. Ooh, you can see, I don't know if you can see it, but like the product is pooling up on my little brows. So that's why you have to use a very light hand. So I actually don't hate this. It actually looks really nice and it kind of shaded in any empty spots on my brows and that doesn't look too awful but I probably just need more practice. It's holding my brows actually pretty well but we'll see how long that lasts because my brows are pretty thick and it's kind of hard to hold them in shape. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. It's just a little bit finicky. You just kind of have to work with it but it's not awful. The next undone product I'm going to be trying is their unscripted instant liner. This retails for $12 and they have three shades. This basically is supposed to be a unique three-way precision tip for thick thin and one touch cat eye and winged eye looks so basically you can use it as a thin liner a thick liner or a stamp and i have the shade dark brown however i cannot use this product for this video because it doesn't seem to be working well so when i try to stamp it or even swipe it on my finger it just looks like a hint of color so i may have gotten a messed up product it doesn't come out like super opaque and black like that other filter liner so i don't think this product is going to work for me in this video unfortunately and the last items i picked up from the brand is their lip life balm with lip smoothing tips these have a soft exfoliating applicator for gentle dry skin removal and it has natural shea jojoba oil and rosehip oil for lip smoothing they have a total of 12 shades and it retails for eight dollars I have the shades 955 Natural Beige and that is described as a sheer warm pink with soft brown undertones. And then I have 960 Beige which is described as a sheer neutral pink with a touch of deep tan. So for today I'm going to do the Natural Beige. I wanted to talk a little bit about the applicator because it's a little bit weird and I'm not a huge fan of it. It's this plastic applicator and it has a bunch of these small little bumps on it which is supposed to help exfoliate your lips but I find that it's not very effective and it just kind of gets in the way of applying the product so I'm not a huge fan of this applicator but just wanted to point that out just gonna apply a little bit and then I'll blend it out with my fingers so that is what that looks like and immediately when you start blending it out it just starts to melt since it has all those oils in it and it feels very nourishing. It does have like that very balmy taste. So if you're not into that, you probably won't like this product very much because you can like really, really taste it and even smell it. So that is what it looks like applied. It feels very nourishing. It feels like I almost have like just a layer of oil on my skin. So if you don't like that kind of oily feel, you probably won't like this. It's not sticky at all. It's not like a gloss or anything like that, but it's not matte either. The color went on very sheer. So it's just very natural. So I do really like that. And then before we end this video, I wanted to try on this water bronzer in shade Amber on my lips. And this shade works really good for a lip stain since it is more of that red toned you can see it instantly added a little bit of color and you can just blend that out and it's just a really nice natural look so i do really like this water bronzer in amber as a lip stain you could probably use it as a cheek stain too so that completes my video i hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful i am pleasantly surprised by undone beauty i think their products definitely stand up to what they believe in which is very minimalistic and multitasking products i am particularly really impressed with this concealer i think this is one of my new everyday concealer i just love the concept of having a sheer and medium and opaque option in your concealer palette also makes it really easy to take when traveling because then you get every kind of coverage that you could ever want and I just love the formula of it it's so emollient and it just blends in and blends out really easily it feels really lightweight but still provides such great coverage so if you want to try anything from the brand I would definitely recommend their concealer 
In terms of their foundations, I did really enjoy both formulas, the glow tint and the matte tint, even having dry and dehydrated skin. The matte tint still sits really well on my skin. It looks very beautiful. It's a really nice matte. It still feels really hydrated. Honestly, these two formulas feel the same on my skin. It's just obviously the finish. So depending on either you have dry, normal, or oily skin, I think both formulas could work for you. I also did really enjoy their blush. I think it's super beautiful, very blendable, and very similar formula to their concealer. It's just very emollient, and even though you might apply it too much, it blends out really beautifully, so it never looks too much. And I think these type of formulas where it's so thin and emollient, it's really beautiful for every day and really fits into that no makeup makeup look because even on a day where you don't wear any like foundation or skin tint, you can just put this right on top of your skin and it's going to blend in into your skin so beautifully that it just looks like you're naturally flushed. I also did really enjoy their water bronzers. I think this is a really unique formula. Again, this is great for no foundation makeup days and I just love the formula and it's just super unique. I feel like a lot of Undone Beauty products are so unique in the way that they're formulated and the way that they're putting to the pan with like this three-in-one concealer. So I do really recommend checking them out. Of course, I will link all the items that I purchased down below if you guys want to check those out yourself. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!